Anatolia, the place where we are now, was a new world, like the United States nowadays. All the brains, you know, goes there, you know. So this part of the land was shortly conquered before. So whole society, almost whole society is Christian, uh, Greek and Armenian. Under the, it was under the Byzantine, just the Turk, Muslim Turks came and conquered a part of the Anatolia. So what? The public is over there. You come militarily and politically, but the, the land, the villager, even the city people are still Christian. So what will happen? You need someone to conquer the heart, <laughs> not the battlefield. So uh, not only Mevlana's group, the other group of people has been invited to Anatolia. Hacı Bektaşi Veli is over there in Kırşehir, uh, Kayseri, all those areas, Kapadokya, East Kapadokya area, Hacı Bektaşi Veli. And uh, between Mediterranean and the uh, agency corner, Seyyid Harun Veli. And so many of them, which I don't remember the name of most of them, has been invited or they came consciously. Uh, as a work to do, as a job to do. So, the family of Mevlana, his father, most probably aimed to come here to do dawa, or has been invited, we don't care. But they, they need it. Those kind of people need it in this part of the world. So what happened? From Bel to Nishabur, Mashhad, Baghdad, Medina, Mecca. They do Hajj, then return back, Medina, Damascus, Antioquia, today we call Hatay, then Kayseri, Sivas, not Konya, the Karaman. Tomorrow you, we will go there, 90 kilometers south of uh, Konya. What happened? Yesterday they came to Konya, 3rd May. So these are all Mimlini people that made it. When you read this signature, there may be artists you can see. Only that one, the track one is. in the flame, it swallows up the believers and the faithless together. When the bird of truth opens its wings, all the images fly away. That's my reading. They are telling that there is a tree uh, interpretation yes, for yes. the traveling of Rumi and his family. Yes. yes. Uh, what is clear about the uh, writings yes, yes. of the father Sometimes is that like he was mostly disappointed of not being in center of any attention in Bal. And uh, that's the reason he has started the kind of the, the career journey. And the journey of the Rumi uh, possibly is not because of the fear of the Mongols. And mostly it's because of the career journey of his father. They came, uh, they tried to settle down inside Iran, but it was also impossible because there was some sort of the great shape here. They came to Konya for two clear reasons. One reason is that the Saljukis of Rum were more established in terms of being peaceful and having more diplomatic uh, relations. Also, they made this diplomatic relation with Mongols after when the, in the attack of the Mongols, what they do is that uh, they even accept the hegemony of Mongols and their kings and their governors would be replaced by the orders of the Mongols. So there was not much war okay. possible here. And the father was coming to a region which was actually new Muslim region. So had more possibility of uh, having more people around himself and do his career as a sheikh. 
حکم به حج رفته کجایی کجایی است بودخانه همین جاست بیایی بیایی در صورت بی صورت معشوق ببینی هم خاجه و هم خانه و هم کعبه شمایی یک عمر از این راه بر آن بام برفتی یک بار از این خانه بر آن بام برای بس دیگه So maybe just to start the conversation, I might just say, so who is your sense of Rumi? Who is Rumi? And we've had a chance to wander around this morning to be in his space. And so each of you will have some ideas about who Rumi is. I think Rumi is a great networker in the world. That's why we are here. And we are going to have lots, lots of great impressions. And I'm sure we will have a fruitful time. And it will, it will be a great work at the end. Maulana is not belong to a country or a ground, especially ground. Because when uh, in all the world uh, read uh, his poetry uh, and uh, they can uh, realize the poetry, he can believe for um, uh, all of us. Rumi was existing in my life from my uh, sixth up to now. And, uh, but about, but there, is, there was one question about that. To whom belongs Rumi? I believe that uh, any poet, uh, any, any poetry, doesn't does belong to the readers. So whenever there is a reader and loving that text, that poems belong to him. Even a poet, after writing his own poetry, is just his own reader and nothing more. Rumi's work just truly fascinates me because. He is so full of contradictions sometimes. And, and I love that. I think that's what makes him so interesting. And uh, sometimes I think I understand something or who he is or what he's saying, and then you read something else, and it's completely the opposite of what he just said. And so does it have to do with our own understanding, with his own growth? That just fascinates me. I was impressed uh, by Mary Lana's uh, poems when I was a teenager and about 10 years ago I um, selected about 70 ideas from his masonry and wrote uh, brief poems uh, like paraphrasing uh, in, in Turkish of course um, and uh, this year uh, there is a play I written about Rumi and Shams, uh, based on a trilogy. Rumi was part of my memory of my childhood. And the Sufi poets among the Kurds in my region, they are part of our everyday life, so that we, we know them almost unconsciously. I mean, when you see I mean, a great prophetic poet like Rumi, who writes tens of thousands of lines, like, I mean, the, like Zarathustra, I mean, who was said to, to write one million lines of poetry. For us, it was something very natural. He's a spiritual master, humble, simple. The way he uses to teach is the metaphor, like the Christ, like Buddha. Like that room is everyone's and no one's at the same time. And there was, I mean, a teacher who taught me the, the, the Arab traditional meters, al-Buhur. 
once I said that, but this story Rumi is saying is a Kurdish one. I was a boy, 14 years old. And he said, no, this story is no one's and everyone's. And if you want to write something like a Rumi, you have to be no one. He also composed poems with uh, special languages because the words in his uh, poems uh, uh, always dance and show what is the music side of the poems. For instance, when I say to you and when I, when I uh, you know, say this uh, poem, uh, tan, tananan, tananan, tananaho yahu, dar tanu sautu lisaonan tananaho yahu. Like this, many other poems of Maulana as such, uh, you know, very high, as uh, composed in a high level. Therefore, we can study, we can uh, analyze uh, Maulana's poems from different ways. نکته قابل توجه این هست که مولوی درسته که به ظاهر وارث صنایع و عطار هست. در این شکی نیست. ولی تعالی بخش همه اندیشه عرفانی جهان اسلام هست. منهای این که اندیشه عرفانی که بعدا در اندلس توسط ابن عربی رشد کرد و به عنوان یک مکتب فلسفی بیشتر در جهان اسلام مطرح شد. اگر مکتب ابن عربی رو از عرفان اسلامی منها بکنیم تقریبا همه اندیشه های عرفانی جهان اسلام رو مولوی یک جا جمع کرد. I compare this poems to the first غزل of حافظ. That is the same aim uh, in two poems. The Mulana says three conditions of human beings, human rights, human. From Mabda and life and Ma'at, three conditions of insan, human rights. But when you think of Greek philosophy of Plato and Socrates, you cannot, I mean, you always, one of them, I mean, you will remember the other, like Shams and and the Jaladdin Rumi. They are connected, very well connected. And in the, in the castle, when the poet mentions himself as an absent person, in the last two lines, like when Timaeus, in Timaeus, when Plato, for the first time in the dialogues, when he's describing the death of Socrates, he cannot I mean, describe his friend, so he makes himself absent. Yes. Like in the castle, I mean, yes. yes. Yeah. And for, for Ibn Arabi, the way when we were even talking that al-Mathnawi, which means it has to do with the meaning of two, which means the thing and, uh, and it's, uh, let's say, uh, the contradictions. Always, I mean, this double words in, in the Rumi's and in Ibn Arabi's, in Arabi even when they, Ibn Arabi imagined the Burak, he said that it's not the horse, not the ass or the donkey, it's the mule, with a mixture of the two. And he, he said that, every uh, thing that the universe is an open book and that we are old all of us are the words of the god since the very i mean beginning of the universe god spoke us like what there and the symbolist said that we are all words of god but he said that but god is light and when he said that if we are the words we are we where the shadows of these things in the vast darkness go went sorry he said that in every creature, there are the shadows of two letters, kun. Mm. When God says, kun fayakun, that every creature has two shadows of two letters. But in Arabic, the verb has three letters. It's kana. When it is imperative, it's kun. And he said that the rule of the poet and the thinker is to look for the absent shadow of the absent letter. <laughs> we don't know who the real Rumi was. We can't. He's gone. He's got, you know, as every human being passes away. But I think for all of us, Rumi is a mirror. You look into him and you see a reflection of yourself. 
So that's the spirit to which I come, in which I come to this program. I still heard about uh, about Maulana and uh, uh, especially Maulana's name when I was uh, nine and uh, around nine and ten. Uh, my grandfather and uh, the elder, the, some other elder in the play in the in, in the place which I live, uh, get together uh, in Friday's night and uh, they uh, they make a program like like Allahu program and uh, reading Masnavi mm -hmm. and. Uh, me as a girl, as a girl that uh, grow, grow, uh, growing up, like uh, didn't allow to, to go to, the, to to go to that program to join, and uh, I really like when they uh, read uh, Masnavi and with sounds, with music, or like when they this, the the way which uh, they read Masnavi, I really like that. And uh, I sat uh, next to the door, back of the door, and I just uh, uh, want to hear uh, what they are reading. And uh, after that, when I when uh, when the Taliban go away from Afghanistan, I start to go to school and uh, and uh, start to uh, can read Masnavi and other books. I'm not ex an expert of uh, Maulan, uh, which I said I'm a student now, and. Uh, just I'm a big lover of Maulana and Masnavi. It is written that three people wrote about Rumi, which was maybe the best. It was Sultan Walad, his son, Afloki and Sepasolor, and thousands of researchers, thousands of people who loved him, who loved him. He didn't accept um, uh, um, that there is in the world imamer or prophet there. Because very man, very man uh, can by heart be good, be a perfect, you know, uh, uh, through his uh, its heart, not with help of others, just this this uh, this touch, this uh, real touch. The reality, the truth, and and love for him was very uh, important. He loved music, he loved uh, dancing, he loved women, he loved men, he loved flowers, he loved sun, he loved everything. He was in love with the, with the life and with the world. He was not Muslim. And I, uh, uh, he was the greatest one and the greatest clever poet in the world that, um, that uh, fight, fight uh, against censorship. He gave a frame of Islamic uh, way, uh, Islamic uh, frame to his uh, poems, not to be loose, not to be not not to be burned, not to be uh, accepted. So he was very brave. When we are approaching to Rumi, we cannot always put him inside just the Islamic discourse. He is coming from Balkh, and that part of the, the that uh, that part of geography were living for years and centuries, Sukhis, Buddhist. And the metaphor of Ney, the, this flute there, Re uh, has very uh, close relation to many Buddhistic texts. And Romi, uh, okay, th uh, these parts accepted Islam very lately, you know, and uh, the Buddhist influence and Buddhist uh, thought were existing there. So we can always, you know, from Halaj to Rumi, we can always, beside the Islamic discourse, we have to have always, constantly, a Buddhist discourse. And that's one side that ex could extend us to see, for example, uh, Bhagavad Gita or Paragya Paramita, you know, here in Rumi. You know, one of the saying that they say, one of the hadiths of the Prophet, which have been created by the Islamic mystics. He says that Allahumma aren al ashya'i kamahi. Uh, this hadith is not uh, certain, it's an exact translation of a sentence, a phrase, a Buddhist uh, phrase. He is very different. Different Imam, different uh, Hoja, different uh, Mola. Uh, when uh, Mevlana uh, uh, listen uh, to sentence say if I were living in the bed 
uh, I have uh, teaching uh, Sharia in the madrasa. But uh, here, here is Rumi's land, Rumi's country, and uh, there is soul of only poetry, only poet, only poetry. Uh, here is uh, soul. Uh, soul language is a poem. First idea. Then other idea, I think it is uh, very, uh, for me, uh, famous sense, but maybe uh, some people uh, not know this sentence. Uh, about Maidana says, he isn't prophet but he has book. I think uh, two idea, uh, it is very impressive and very useful idea for me, uh, understanding uh, Mevlana. Mm -hmm. از احادیث اونجا که میگوید می که بله اونجا که میگه مصنوی یه من چه قرآن مدل حادی بعضی یا بعضی را مزل ببینید ما در یک مجموعی نشستیم که همه تحصیل کردیم
اینجوری به بیس تیم شمس به شب تیم خود برسه citizen of Maulana. I, I, I, I uh, born, I live in the city which Maulana was born, Balkh. And I, me as a, as, a, uh, as a citizen of Maulana, as a Balkhian, really want to, to know that uh, how, the world, how the world is thinking about, uh, about like my citizen. You know, now I can say that Maulana is not just a, a Balkan poet or a person that we can say that belongs to Balkh, belongs to Afghanistan. Maulana is, Maulana's words, Maulana's poet is now a world, a world poet, a, a humanity poet. I don't think I'm going to be a city, a city, a city, a city, a city, a city, that Maulana is a big city in that city. و این برای من هنوز هم یک سوال هست من مولانا شناسی نخوندم من هنوز خیلی کوچکتر از او هستم که بخوام در مورد مولانا حتی فکر بکنم و ولی ما امروز اینجا هستم در قونیه در جایی که مولانا زندگی کرده نفس کشیده راه رفته و هستی را آسمان را عشق غیر زیبایی را همه را I think I am in the moment when Rumi see the drop of blood of Shams, but doesn't see his body, the disappeared Shams. What I see there is that the presence have been lost and the symbol, a drop of blood remained. And I remember a part of the, a poem by Stanisco, a Romanian poet, telling that uh, I am a drop of blood that speaks. And I see myself now in that drop of blood. Man, Mangana, Shafadi Aftimke, Khandani Ashari O, Dar Infan, Ruhar Midama, Damidani Yaguruhi, no, Yagag Figure Taza, Yagandishi, no. در آشار مغنا دریافت می شود. من مغنا را شخصیت متفق با تمام مردم، با تمام آدیان یافتم. من آشار او را دیدم که او از مفاق طبیعه حرف می زند. او از آنگام نسود بیرون، در آنگام نهود و مغراء طبیعت حرف می زند. جلال الدین رومی was a great poet. He wrote lots of poems like Masnavi and Ghazals. And also he wrote some verses in Persian language. Therefore, Maulana is a very important person in mysticism and the world of poetry. Who would he can فارسي وبيعيش بمنطقة فيها كتير من اللغات وفيها كتير من اختلاط المعارف والديانات والأفكار مثل ما هي هون حتى موجودة بهذا الملتقى واللي, واللي أنا بالنسبة لي بشوف أهميته بتطلع بوقت تالي لما الواحد يرجع لوحده ويفكر كمان من جديد بالموضوع What should we as poets from around the world know about uh, Rumi? What's the most important thing we should know about him? Şiirden hoşlanıyorlar, hikayelerden hoşlanıyorlar. Onun için Allah'ın mesajlarını onlara şiirle anlatıyorum, hikayeyle anlatıyorum. The question we keep asking is, who is Mevlana? 
Bence büyük baba. Umar. <gülüyor> Hazreti Mevlana Peygamber Efendimizin yolda giden İslamiyeti anlatan bir büyük velidir. Bir şair olmanın çok ötesinde bir velidir. We wanted to give you a, a book that we made some years ago. We brought together poets from five countries. Çok, çok teşekkür ederim. Bu e, kitabı daha önce duymuştum ve beyefendi elinden almış olmak beni çok mutlu. You know we kiss uh, each other's hand like that. Kiss my hand. The meaning of this, all the souls are the same level. Oh, yes. All the souls are the same level. Yes. Thank you. And the meaning of this, you are in my heart. You are in my heart. Yes. <laughs> I'm taking away a, a greater knowledge of the poetry of Rumi, of the time in which he lived, of the, uh, of the place, the country. Uh, but also, uh, I am taking away uh, unexpected connections that were made with uh, uh, people who, uh, whom I've known. Whom, whom I've known, whom I haven't known at all, or whom I've known through the internet, or uh, whom I've known a bit through their work, uh, and uh, I, I look forward enormously to these con to this conversation, uh, continuing uh, with the memory of this uh, this sunlight and this blue sky, and uh, uh, uh, and uh, and even uh, uh, the memory of the. Uh, 
women in uh, women women in hijab crowd, crowding into the Rumi uh, in, into the Rumi museum uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, to to to to touch to touch the manuscript or to pour over the case in which the, with the manuscript in it or, and uh, and and touch the relics and and think about what that means. Mulana, tamam jahan ro, tamam insan haro. با هم برادر و برادر و برابر می داند و از یک جنس می داند و تمام اونها را برای رسیدن به تعالی و یک جامعه بزرگ که دارای وحدت است راهنمایی می کند مولانا در زبان خودش آنچنان بیان می کنه و لفظ را آنچنان می گیرد که تمام افراد را می تواند تشویق کند و به درجه و پایه برساند که خود در آنجا دیده است مولانا انسان را مبا... برابر با اندیشه می داند اندیشه ای که می تواند او را فراتر ببرد اندیشه ای که می تواند به دریایی وصل بشود به نا... کجا آباد و جهانی که بسیار بسیار گسترده و پهناور است آنجا که می گوید ای برادر تو همه اندیشه ای ما بقی تو ما بقی خود استخان و ریشه ای صحبت کردن در این باره بسیار فرصت و مجادی بزرگ می خواهد من در همین جا صحبت هم را تمام می کنم His, his message to the world forever in from the future in the past and in the present is that every human being has to think to go to himself himself and find this huge capacity for us give love to others, give love to the, to the world, to everything. And that's why I love him. Benim doğum yerim, benim doğduğum yer Konya'yı seviyorum. Fakat bu toplantı vesilesiyle tekrar Konya'ya geldiğim zaman çok başka şeyler hissettim. Hissettiğim temel şey şu, Mevlana'nın eserlerinde anlattığı Birbirinden farklı ama insan olma özünü taşıyan farklı ülkelerden, farklı dinlerden, farklı dillerden insanların onun çağrısı altında birleşebileceğini, birbirlerini daha çok anlayabileceklerini ve ön yargılarda ön yargılarından kurtulabileceklerini bir kez daha görmüş oldum. It's important to also think about what Rumi did for people. And I've come to some important discoveries about how Rumi accepted women into the spiritual tradition and the fact that he held them in such high esteem. He had women in his very close family circle. He had female disciples. He corresponded with female mystics. And so I've come to understand Rumi as the best kind of humanist, even though Islam claims him as his own. But so do all the other great spiritual traditions, because Rumi was somebody universal, like Shakespeare. So again, we have to look at the things that Rumi did for other people. He taught them about the divine. He taught them about love, about surrender, about abandon, submission. And he taught them how to be joyful and joyous. Once that Mawlavi Rab Dish has Hame Mumtaz Mikunat Dar Bakhsha Ghazal, and for all the Jahanian Shahir has. تجربه روحانی مشترک انسانی اوست و این پیام جهانی مولوی است یعنی نحوه بیان مولوی اونقدر عالمگیر هست که فارغ از ملیت زبان اعتقاد او بیان خودش را کاملا شفاف اعلام می‌کند at the age of 60 uh, it's my first visit uh, to Mevlana. Uh, to, to Konya, and it is ironic because uh, um, he, uh, he has been one of my mentors, and uh, from Istanbul to Konya, it took me uh, around uh, 45, 50 years. It, it has been a long trip. I've been to other parts of the planet, but maybe this was the right time, the right time and the ripe time because after having experienced all the other parts, almost all the other parts of the planet, uh, I uh, came and uh, this is one of the uh, turning points in my life. Har ke darun nist az in ishq rang, 
نزد خدا نیست به جز چوب و سنگ عشق برآورد ز هر سنگ آب عشق تراشید ز آین زنگ کفر به جنگ آمد و ایمان به صلح عشق به زد آتش در صلح و جنگ Translation is Anyone not touched with the color of this love is no more than a stone or wood to God. Love draws water even from a stone. Love scrapes off the rust from a mirror. Infidels come for war, faithfuls for peace. Love sets fire to both. Peace and war. Me در فلا چومه بی پا اینت بی پا و طرف بی سود و بی زیان که منم گفت تمانی بگفت حال خموش در زبان نامده است آن که منم مرا حق The God created me from the wine of love. Mm. I am the love itself, even if this took take. I am the drunkness, and my origin is the wine of love. Tell that what comes out of wine, but drunkness. Muslim was uh, reading that poem. Didn't that remind you of Whitman's first lines? I celebrate myself and sing myself and what I assume you shall assume, for every atom belonging to me as good belongs to you. I loaf and invite my soul, I lean and loaf at my ease, observing a spear of summer grass. My tongue, every atom of my blood, formed from this soil, this air, born here of parents, born here from parents the same, and their parents the same. I now, 37 years old, in perfect health begin. <laughs> Geçip gitti sessizce Kim tutar eteğini yere düşen yağmurun Biz geldik Bir bir geldik Beraber geldik İnsan ne kadar çoğalsa o kadar tek Çünkü Tanrı'dan geliyor Do you know this? You go Just a second You clasp like this, right? Kiss? No, no, no, no, no, no. No, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> wait, wait. No. You're gonna, I'm gonna kiss you. Uh -huh. You kiss mine. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, cross the heart. آنقدر بوسیدم آه بوسیدم ها شوید بگم. آه ترجمه کنم. Like this. I kiss you. Oh, how much.